everyone, it's Ravioli again. I'm back again with another mouse video. So today I wanted to do a video all about uh, my weekly clean outs that I do for my mice. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how I go about uh, doing like a spot clean. Um, this isn't a deep clean, so I'm not gonna be disinfecting anything this time around, but I do do that around once a month. Um, I'm happy to go through and maybe do a video on that at some point as well. But for today, I'm just going to show you how I do like a spot clean and then rearrange the setup uh, to have like it be a bit different and a bit interesting for, for the girls. So I do start with taking out all the toys, um, putting them all to one side, so giving them a good shake off, cleaning off any little bits of poos. Um, so all the toys need to come out first, sometimes some of them are a bit buried, so you have to dig around a little bit to find some of them. Um, once those are all out and they've had a good shake off and are all super clean, um, we then go through and just spot pick. So this would be any areas that look soiled or damp or um, like the mice have just done their business there. We make sure to take those out, so it usually only ends up being the top layer. Uh, but we do take out just any bedding that looks a bit grim. Um, it just makes it so that, you know, it looks like nice fresh bedding for them. But all that old bedding that's in there does still have their smell attached to it. Um, so you don't have to worry about them feeling the need to like resent the entire enclosure. So yeah, usually when I take out bedding, it ends up being maybe a third to a quarter of the bedding that comes out. Um, you know, it is whatever it needs. Sometimes the bedding is really gross and sometimes it's not that bad. So um, yeah, it is just dependent week by week. Um, any hanging toys, I do tend to just leave hanging from the ceiling on the weekly cleans. And then when I'm doing the monthly cleans, I will take those all down, make sure that they got a proper good clean. So then once all of that's cleaned out and I've got out any of the gross bits, um, we go back through and we just add in a little bit of extra aspen. On this day we have added quite a lot more aspen because when we first switched over to aspen um, we didn't quite have enough to do as deep of a layer of bedding as I like so they only had like about two to three inches um, whereas I quite like them to have at least five six inches. And then I just want to show you all the toys that I've got for them. So a lot of these are just like kitchen roll tubes, paper roll tubes. Um, those can be thrown away and replaced really easily. And then some of the other toys I've made are out of cardboard. And some of them are like wooden toys that we've bought and cork logs and things. So then when it comes to actually like putting the setup together, for me it's a lot of trial and error usually i've got some ideas as to what i want to try so this that i'm doing here with the little like section and tp um i had that in my head as being something i wanted to do um but once i start putting things in and deciding which or ornaments and hides and things i want um it changes quite a lot so it's just one of those it it kind of shapes itself as i'm putting it together um and i just can like keep moving things around until I get it exactly how I like it. I really love putting in a wall divider so that you've got like a deep, deep bit of bedding next to like a not so deep bit of bedding. It doesn't always work out how I want it to. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll switch it around a few times and it just, it isn't working. Um, so then I'll end up doing something completely different or maybe trying something that I've done before in previous cages. So what I'm doing here with that bit of cork log is making it so that the tunnel section I can actually see uh, from the glass and then it's kind of buried in the bedding. I, I try and fit a lot of stuff in because the mice do prefer like a super crowded cage. So it's important that I do put in as many things as I can fit in. So it's not it's not always about like how aesthetically pleasing it is because although I like it to look like this little fairy tale wonderland, um, it, it needs to be, you know, good for the mice. So it is a bit of trial and error. It is a bit of just putting bits in, seeing how they look, seeing what I could do with that um, and just keep messing around with it until it looks like how we want it to. 
Um, I do really like putting in bits of cork because, it, you know, it's good for them to chew on, it keeps their claws down, um, and I just really like that naturalistic look. Um, the, the only problem I do have with the cork is it really absorbs their pee, so it smells quite bad. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I can, like, effectively clean it and get rid of the smell and everything, because I've heard people say they put it in the oven, but... I don't know if that will make it smell worse, I, I need to do a bit of research on that really. So as well, once I've got like the main bulk pieces in, so like the, the large bits of cork, um, any kind of main hides, I like to go back in and then put in like little small details. So I built this little climbing frame just out of um, willow sticks. and. Um, I've, I've got various kind of little just touches like that, that like the little ladders that I've made um, that I just think really spruce it up a bit and it, it gives them lots of different options as the routes they're gonna travel throughout the cage um, and they'll rearrange anyth everything anyway because that's what they do. Currently this cage that we've set up for them is destroyed like they have completely shoved everything around it looks like it's been through a sandstorm because everything is buried and hidden now um so i'm it's gonna be a bit of fun going back through and just sorting that all out at the weekend this is something that we tend to do every friday evening or every saturday um just to make sure that it is kept to a routine and they seem to like it too like they like getting out in their playtime tub and just having a run around and then coming back and, and seeing their home completely transformed because the great thing about not doing all the disinfecting weekly is that it still smells like them so they they aren't scared of being put back into it but they they love exploring it all and just seeing what you've done and finally once i've as well put everything in that i want to i go back in and put like soft bedding in so this is like some cut up toilet roll and kitchen paper that i use and I just like to put that in some of the heights just so they've got a bit of extra bedding. So once we've put the soft bedding in, it's then time to just see if the roof is going to get moved around at all, it's because the roofs fit both halves of the cage. Um, sometimes if I'm not moving the hanging toys around, it's nice to just switch those over. Uh, so we just kind of test out which sides, which bits are going to fit and how it will work, and then go from there with it. And then it's time to get the girls ready to go back home so they've just been hanging out in their dirt tub so this is just full of eco dirt and any spare bits of um, toys and climbing objects i have um, they tend to go crazy in there for a good half hour whilst i'm putting together their cage but they're always quite happy to head back home as well When it's time to go home, they are all super excited. Um, they're all ready to, to jump on you at any chance. Um, and they, they are quite happy to just climb onto our hands and, and run home and do all the exploring. I always love watching them after we've done a clean out just to see like what's the first bits they're gonna discover. Um, sometimes when I've put something quite interesting together, I'm always like wondering if they're gonna figure it out or if they're gonna know how to get somewhere like they can't always straight away figure out how to get into all the hides so that's always a fun and i think doing this weekly as well gives them like a great source of enrichment um obviously you know they do have quite a big tank but it it could always be bigger so by changing it around quite often i think it just keeps it fresh for them like constantly gives them something to to explore even though it's always the same place
so uh before we head off now i just wanted to say thank you so much for coming by and watching today i really hope that maybe this has inspired some of your setups um maybe given you some ideas for how you can spend a bit of time to really create a little kingdom for your mice um i i really do recommend just having like a good range of toys and objects um, and making stuff is always super fun for them. Like, I highly recommend just any spare cardboard. Build them a little tower. They love it. They love it so much. As far as everything else, I will link it in the description below. Um, so if there's anything you'd like the look of, you'll be able to find it down there. Um, and otherwise, thank you so much for watching today. Please like, comment and subscribe because it really helps. Um, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.